Okay, uh, good morning. Um, today I'm going to dig again into my Styx uh, library. And uh, the song I'm going to talk about today is Crystal Ball. Uh, this is off their Crystal Ball album around 1976. This is really the first time that Tommy Shaw uh, really joined in on the action of Styx. And so, uh, great song. It's in standard tuning. Uh, it showcases a lot of chord uh, chord runs uh, based around A minor. And uh, so I wanted to show you that. As before, I will play the song and then we'll dissect each of the individual parts of the song. It's not that difficult of a song, but it's a great song to, uh, to learn to play on acoustic guitar. Okay, that song was a little little hard to sing. It's a little higher than my normal range. Let me go ahead and get into the song itself, show you how to play the intro. The intro starts basically with a, sort of a strumming picking pattern. Starts out on A minor seventh, and goes to a G major seventh. G major seventh is your middle finger on the third fret of the low E, and then your second or your pointer finger on the second fret of the high E. So that's sort of A strumming. And then the second line of the intro goes A minor, and you slide your fingers up two frets to a G major 13th, which is essentially keeping that same A, a minor 7th shape. Okay. Next is, a, is an A 7th shape on the 5th fret. That is an A 7th, no 3rd. And then you're going to slide it up to the 7th fret. That's an A 7th add 6 no 3rd. So the way that sounds together is sort of sort of filling in the entire for an A, a, made, an a minor 7th. So it's And then you're going to go to, immediately to a D 7th suspended 4th, which is essentially a D 7th and you're going to just put your pinky finger down on the third fret of the high E and resolve it to a D7. So the way that sounds together is so G major 7th, A minor 7th. Then it gets into the first verse, which is an A minor 7th. So you're just going back and forth between uh, an A minor 7th and a G major 7th okay, for three lines. And then you go uh, to an E minor all alone to an A trapped into a C to a D again all alone and trapped in time. Okay, so. Uh, basically, that's it on a verse, so it's, let me play the last line. Mm -hmm. 
how the verses go. Uh, in the concert version, I think there's actually a third verse. In the uh, record version on the album, there's really only two verses. So you go to the second verse, is essentially the same chords uh, over again, starting with the A minor 7th. Okay, so now you're going to get into the pre-chorus uh, part of the chorus, and um, this has some more chord runs on it. I usually play it only on the first line. So it's, it's basically, tell me, tell me where you're going, don't know where I'm in. And the way you play that is you're going E minor to a C, I don't know where I'm in. And then you're going to do a little bounce chord off the D. Tell me, tell me, won't you tell me, then tell me again. Okay, now on the pre-chorus, uh, I played it the simplified way where you're just staying on E minor. Now, this has a similar uh, uh, chord run that's using, uh, that's built around filling in for the E minor chord. So in this case, it's E minor to an E minor ninth, which is which is here on the, uh, your, your middle finger's on the uh, A string, fifth fret, and then your pointer finger is on the fourth fret of the D string. Okay? And then you're going to do a an E minor which is in the fifth position which is essentially um, <clears throat> your ring finger on the seventh fret and your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the D string. Your your ring finger is on the fifth fret or seventh fret of the A string. So that is an A minor, but it's in a, it's in the middle position here. And then you're going to keep that same shape and slide it to so that uh, that you have you're doing an A minor add fourth and that is the same shape except your your pointer finger so you just slide it up two frets up on the seventh to the ninth so the way that sounds is so it's E minor E minor ninth minor in the fifth position and then it's E minor add four. And that substitutes for the E minor chord in the pre-chorus part. Then you go to a C. So let me play that. Tell me, tell me where you're going. I don't know where I'm in. And you're going to do that little bounce again. So it's tell me, tell me where you go going, I don't know where you are. Tell me, tell me, won't you tell me, then tell me. Okay, so you're going to do that three times. Uh, you can throw that little uh, chord run in there as you see fit. On the fourth time, you're going to do tell me, tell me, won't you tell me. I've, so it's C. To a D, just got to know, and that's E suspended four, resolved to an E. So it's tell me, tell me, won't you tell me? Just got to know, crystal, and then you get into the real chorus, crystal. It's E minor to a B minor seven. So many things I need to know, Crystal. Oh, there's so many things I need to know. That's twice, Crystal. Won't you tell me, please, before I go? And then the last line is Crystal. And instead of using an E minor, you're going to use an E minor 7th augmented 5th, which is essentially you're putting these two fingers, your ring and your little finger, 3rd fret of the high E in the B string. And then you're using your, your other fingers like in, the, in a C major 7th position. So your, your pointer finger is on the 2nd fret of the D. Your middle finger is on the 3rd um, fret of the A. That is an E minor 7th augmented 5th. 
Cristo. So it's E minor 7th augmented 5th to a B minor 7th to a D suspended 4th, which is essentially a D, putting your pinky down on the 3rd fret of the high E, resolve to a D. So let me play that last line. <clears throat> Cristo. Now, the solo, this is the first solo, this is the main solo of the song, is basically played over the E minor to a D chord. Now, uh, I think Tommy Shaw actually plays it. He does this little chordal run during the course of the, uh, um, the solo. you figure out the solo on your own. So E minor to a D. Now the last chords of the first solo of the solo goes to a to a C, to a D, to a B, building up tension again. Tell me, tell me. So it jumps right back into the pre-chorus again. So let me go ahead and play that a little bit, and then I'll, I'll uh, and then I'll jump into the pre-chorus again. Doing a solo over this. C, D, D. Hold the tension. Tell me, tell me. So you go back into the chorus, uh, pre-chorus, and then the chorus. Then it jumps back into an outro solo, and then the song fades out on. So you just outro solo. And it just fades out on an outro solo. Okay. Uh, that's how you play Crystal Ball uh, by Styx, and uh, uh, not a very hard song, just uh, some interesting chord runs, and uh, uh, hope you learned something, and as always, uh, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them at my YouTube channel, and as always, have a great day.